good morning students in the fifth class lecture that is the resolving power of optical instruments so we are going to discuss two optical instruments one is a telescope and second one is microscope so in first part we discussed about telescope as we know telescope is used to see distinct object to see distinct object for example stars okay as we know telescope is made of uh, two lens one is object lens and second one is eyepiece object lens resolves the image and eyepiece gives the magnification if object lens is not of that much powerful then even there are two stars we cannot resolve as two but it seems to be only one and after that even magnification of the eye piece is very large you cannot see two separate stars so it is necessary that object lens should be such that it resolves the it resolves the object in two separate images or three whatever the number we will see from the formula to get more resolution we need large diameter we need large diameter to resolve the things suppose you have one star here another star is here and you are looking from here so it makes at an angle this angle if this lens can see two things separately then you can say it resolving power is good smaller the angle good resolving power i take example of our human eye suppose you put two spots on your screen i am us two spot book ke dau chu i can see two spots you go away from that screen go away as you go away from the screen the angle is decreases mare dur jao angle nano ban ke jase once the angle becomes such that you cannot see two spots separately you can do experiment at right now in your home also you put two dot on the wall or on the screen and you go away from the wall ek vakat e tamne dekhata band thase it means now your eye cannot resolve the image jeni aankh vadhare sari hoy to haju nano angle thai to bhi joy sakshe it is like that okay so we need large diameter a lens with large diameter so whenever you see any star okay so suppose this is my object lens and there is object so we can see we 
solar image of that star is is not spotted at a one point it is not concentrated at one point but it has certain area why because of this is corresponding to central maxima this is corresponding to central maxima so this is your central maxima and it is surrounded by it is surrounded by rings it is surrounded by rings and this rings are corresponding to rings are corresponding to first minima then you will have first maxima so there are rings okay these are the rings the actual image is the central part but it is not focus but it is it has certain area it has certain area okay so this is as i may told you this is central maxima so if i draw intensity then corresponding to this corresponding to this you will have maximum intensity suppose this is the maximum intensity and then it will decrease to zero then again we increase but not that much like that okay it is similar to that diffraction pattern this can be analyzed and it is very complicated but we can take it as the fringe this is actually circular part this is similar to the length uh, similar to the circular um, what is you say slit and we can analyze and if you analyze it then we can get this diameter of the central maxima is equal to 1.22 1.22 lambda upon 2a and multiply by its uh, focal length f because this image is formed at distance f so this is the diameter of image we need not to derive this formula you take is take it granted what is 2a so here 2a is here 2a is equal to diameter of lens diameter of lens or aperture of lens whichever is the smaller one whichever is smaller one is smaller so if lens is not complete if it half lens suppose then i have to take that much part only okay if the lens is complete then is diameter so this is the 2a lambda is the wavelength that the light which is incident on the object and f is the focal length of this lens okay so this is the diameter of the central maxima so you can see this image okay with this much diameter oh, now problem then starts suppose you have one more star here then also you will get the image here so this image should be formed so that you can see it separately ahi hamara ek banu ho jaiye to mane judu malse barabar se otherwise what will happen it will overlap so you cannot see two separate even we have two star but image is only one to dur banwa jaiye to dur banwa mate ek angle certain ho jaiye ee angle kitlo ho jaiye barabar se to e angle jo ho jaiye so if you find the angle you can go like this sorry uh, sorry like this so for this image is formed somewhere here actually at the center but more try to reach the circular one in other okay so i whatever this angle is same angle is here so angle is equal to ketlu thase 
So you will get angle is equal to 1.22 lambda upon 2a or you can say that 0.61 lambda upon a. So this is the angle and it is called delta theta. If angle is this much, you can see two separate images. More than that, no problem. Then you will get one image is here, other image is here. You can get it. But if this two stars are closer, angle is less than this one, then you will not find two separate images. So this is the minimum angle. It is also called alpha minimum for which you can see two separate images. Okay. Smaller the value of this, larger the resolving power. So it is inversely proportional to resolving power is inversely proportional to alpha minimum. So it is proportional to A and inversely proportional to lambda. So more the A, more the resolving power. More the diameter of the lens, more the resolving power. So at the beginning, from the formula, we can show that resolving power can be increased by increasing diameter or aperture of the lens. And at the same time, if you decrease the wavelength, then also you get larger resolving power. So it is better to see any object with a shorter wavelength than the larger wavelength. And a blue color ma karta, blue color ma adhar saru pade, red color karta. Okay. So, a e kapde vathai telescope ni. Resolving power of telescope. Okay. Ave kare two separate image hoi shakai ena mate relay criteria apelo. It is not in your text. R-E-I-G-H. Relay criteria. It is not in your text, but just I give some information. Suppose central maxima is here, central maxima is here. You can see it. Central maxima is here, central maxima is here. You cannot see it. Central maxima is here, central maxima is here. You can see it. So, I any condition thing. So, the central maxima is here, it touches it. I thought the greater distance, you can see it. Central maxima just touch it. So, you can see the separate image of the distance, you cannot see it. Okay, so I can see it. Next one is the resolving power of microscope. So, again in microscope there is a object lens. Okay, this is our object lens. And you have an object which is a very small object, uh, which is suppose as a bacteria. I say this angle is beta, and uh, this is uh, total diameter is d, so here it is d by 2. Okay, d by 2, and we get image over here. Suppose image is here, this is your image and if you take this line and this line, take angle the number of this angle is there, okay. What is this distance? The image distance is V and object is placed at distance focal length. So this is your object. This is beta d by 2. This image distance. This angle is there. And this is your image central maxima. And it is surrounded by again there are rings. Okay. So this is the this angle, angular diameter of image is equal to 1.22 lambda upon d. This is angular diameter. And what is linear diameter? So linear diameter, sorry, of image is equal to this angle 1.22 lambda upon d into 
distress V. So you get linear diameter. Okay, this is linear diameter. So this is the diameter. And this is in image plane. It, see, I may have what I was actually have it tomorrow one was it. Like this. Have it. So this is the diameter. Allah image plane here. So I write image plane. Image have it nothing. It is in the image plane. Image a banwano say image plane. And I have the object and object plane give out the Okay. So it is in image plane. Okay. Now what I, I want to show that I have a bacteria produce. I don't know how far. And any image of the cow to the distance get low you have shows one which what should be the distance so that you get two separate images. I will show you what should be the angle so that you can to see two separate images. Here what is the minimum distance between the two objects so that you we can see two separate images. So our distance one shows one which to my money low I have objects height no well outside one of our edge over check on image when I get one of them. So, you can see that image is not the same. So, image is not the same. Reality is not the same. If you image not the center to center distance. So, this is HI. Side is not the HI upon HO. And is equal to magnification. And is equal to what? V upon U. Is equal to what? V upon F. Because here V is the uh, image distance and F is the object distance. Okay, our formula is V upon U is equal to magnification. Okay. And now we have to positive Just we are considering magnitudes. So the negative sign can be done. Nothing. Okay. So how about the image? I want to replace this. V, V na mara dur karo chhe. So V barabar shu thoshe. So you will get this H O mara shodu sorry. So H O what is H O here? H O is equal to H I upon M. What is H I? And you can distance. It get lower, sir. Okay, up lower, sir. One point twenty-two. Ajay linear diameter. Ajay diameter, sir. Same diameter is here. Ah, diameter, sir. So, I am a little over, sir. So, it is nothing but one point twenty-two lambda upon d into v divided by m. For which are you? I direct catch my push. Why it is taken? So, okay, this is my center to center distance or you can say diameter. Center to center distance or you can say diameter. In a mushu lelo, it is my object distance. It is my image distance. Image height. So, at least image height, so my object height be over here. So, using this formula, we can show that D minimum is equal to 1.22 lambda upon d v upon m avoid v upon m but what is your m what is your m so your m is equal to v upon f so 1.22 lambda upon d v upon v upon f so finally you will get 1.22 lambda upon d into f so this is the minimum distance between the two objects so that we can see two separate images. Okay. So arm are minimum distance. I will angle up on my two. I will get up on my distance up on my two. So I'm our minimum distance. I will have a figure. So in the figure. 10 built up is equal to opposite that is a d by 2 upon adjacent that is the f so is equal to d by 2 f okay and therefore f upon d is equal to what 10 beta by 2 isn't it 
f by 2 no 1 upon 2 tan beta 1 upon 2 tan beta we put it this value over here so what you will get d minimum d minimum substituting over here 1.22 lambda f upon d is 1 upon 2 tan beta again here tan beta is very small here beta is very small so that tan beta is equal to sin beta and therefore d minimum is equal to 1.22 lambda upon 2 sin beta okay so a nanu distance che etla distance mate hoy to apde be image joy shake ni tar be image joy shakai ni okay this is called resolution and you know power mare joto hoy to mar resolving power have to get large resolving power a liquid with higher refract index is used between object and object lens if refractive index of the liquid is n then d minimum near there are nothing karva no apade direct use karo 2 n sin beta where n sin beta is called where n sin beta is called numerical aperture ek wakat aap pucha hai jo what is called numerical aperture n sin beta is called numerical aperture so larger the denominator, smaller the d minimum. J M d minimum naam hai vada rasalo. And reciprocal of d minimum is called resolving power of telescope. Okay. It is called resolving power of telescope. Chale last ma prayat kariye. Telescope is used to see object which are very far and we bring image near so we get large image. When microscope is the device which, which is used to see nearer object and very tiny. And in a moti banavin abde chuyeshe. It may happen a saru dekai. And a telescope duni was to no nazik image banavish at lavane saru dekai. मेरा बी हो चाहे आ मुख्य तफा हो चाहे तो टेलिस्कोप ना रिजोल्विंग पावर में कौन आवे एंगल आवे चाहे अने माइक्रोस्कोप ना रिजोल्विंग पावर में शुम आवे चाहे डिस्टेंस आवे चाहे माइक्रोस्कोप में शुम कितना डिस्टेंस नहीं नजीक नहीं वस्तु जोए शक्य ये नहीं बात करवानी चाहे अने टेलिस्कोप में कितना एंगल ह so, it has good resolving power. Telescope has good resolving power. Okay. So, now very small topic uh, that is called Fresnel distance. Fresnel distance. In one chapter, we discussed that light is a ray. And this chapter we say light is a wave. So, kya mare ray optics lagawano, kya mare wave optics lagawano. Then, amate j parameters, it is called final distance zf. So, suppose you have one slit and you get the image, then central maxima, central maxima is obtained at z upon a where a is the width so width of central maxima is 
is equal to suppose this stress is oh, not z sorry lambda upon a sorry lambda upon a so lambda upon a into z suppose z is the distance about one side we are talking for one side this is the angle at luce to angle what we are getting is this much so a upon a z lu jovu juye even it is spread sorry right behind you but incident hai okay even it is it divided because of diffraction but that diffraction is not that much it is near to that only i h to e e j rahu juye to jitna distance with a lai shakiye a distance is your final distance so what is z okay a square upon lambda it is for final distance z the distance up to which we can take ray optics and beyond that we have to take wave optics the distance up to which we can apply ray optics why ray is not deviated considerably and distance more than zf distance more than zf then ray optics must be applied ओके अतलू नानक ने बात छे a स्क्वायर अपॉन लैम्ब्डा इज कॉल्ड फाइनल डिस्टेंस नाउ वी समराइज दिस पार्ट एक्सप्लेन रिजोल्विंग पावर फॉर ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड एक्सप्लेन रिजोल्विंग पावर ऑफ टेलीस्कोप इट मे बी फॉर माइक्रोस्कोप आल्सो ओके ड्यू टू डिफ्रैक्शन डी फिनोमेना in optical instrument it is difficult to see object and its image that are too close this the angular resolution of the telescope is determined by the objective of the telescope but increasing the magnification through the ip resolving does not get so is, we cannot increase resolution so i already we have mentioned ip is increase the magnification produced by the objective okay when a parallel beam of light is incident on a convex lens due to this lens the ray beam is focused on a point but due to diffraction it will be focused in a finite area so at la area ni indari focus thai point avana badle okay instead of being focused at the point this is shown in the figure okay so here due to convex lens dark and bright fringes are obtained simultaneously around the center bright region this ring is called array ring if you have upon regular to the radius of the center bright region is ef is f if if f and f is the focal length center bright fringe region radius je ke ab dar zero ki do Uh, focal length of the two e is the diameter of the circular aperture or the diameter of the lens j nano se the which is the smaller one the width of the center maximum 1.22 lambda f upon 2a so radius of this central maxima so 1.61 lambda upon a into f so you will get 0.61 lambda f upon a i have already discussed kelu cha ye delta theta is the angular resolution of the telescope an inverse of angular resolution is called energy energy resolving resolution or geometrical resolution thus when the diameter of the object is greater theta delta theta will be smaller that is a telescope as a larger is larger then its power of resolution is higher and what is the resolving power the ability of an optical instrument to produce distinctly separate image 
of two closely placed object is called its resolving power. Then explain the resolving power of microscope. So here we have a image of the image of point like object by an objective of the microscope is shown in the figure. This already we have drawn this figure also. So this is the diameter of the center maxima. Let the diameter of the lens be D and its focal length is F. As uh, we can write the tan beta is equal to D by 2 upon F. <coughs> okay. So this we already derived it. So we have to point with the lack of idea. So D minimum we are getting 1.22 lambda upon D into F. And if you don't know what you do, and you can finally formula d minimum is equal to 1 upon 1.22 lambda upon 2n sin beta that n sin beta is called numerical aperture okay it is called numerical aperture and 1 upon dm is called resolving power of microscope so any unit to say koi bhi lens na unit no inverse and pehla ma to say koi pan angle na unit no inverse so ahiya sudhi aa tamare photography स्क्रीन फोटो पाड़ी तुम जो शको हम बहुत बता डिस्कस करते हो